Hi there and welcome. Today I'm taking a look at some of these enclosures that I found on eBay. And these are actually the enclosures that I intend to use myself. So as you see on the table here, I don't have any that are really really tiny or gold color or some other flashy stuff. Uh, because that is not what uh, I'm about. But uh, that doesn't mean that these uh, enclosures are not valid. It's just that I don't um, intend to use them or they're not uh, to my taste. But anyway, most of these are from China and I think one or two of them are from uh, Turkey. But uh, anyway, I hope they're all good quality, I hope they're all really nice and I hope they suit my applications. But let's find out, shall we? Okay, so the first one is this one here. It's called an ABS Black Plastic Electronic Project Box uh, with the dimensions 100 by 60 by 25 millimeter, And it's basically just a, an empty box. Uh, the plastic is ABS and it's not really scratch proof. Um, as you can see, uh, the whole thing snaps in with the, those four uh, uh, snaps here. And uh, there are of course matching uh, notches here on the enclosure, uh, on the box itself. And um, once you snap the lid in, it's quite difficult to remove again, so I think it will stay. Uh, inside the box, I'm not sure you can see it, there are four little studs, one here in each corner for some uh, self-tapping screws. And uh, yeah, this box is good for something I think that doesn't need to uh, look very uh, nice. Like uh, some project boxes uh, for stuff that you can use in your, in your lab. Um, of course it's plastic, so there's no thermal uh, transfer between the inside and the outside of the enclosure. Uh, so you can't use it for something that gets really really hot. Uh, but apart from that, I think it's a nice little box. The plastic quality is uh, decent and uh, Yeah, unless as I said you want to use it for something that needs to look pretty um, So quite a nice box and the price is about two pounds thirty for uh, per, per piece uh, excluding shipping The next one up is this one. This is called a DIY plastic power supply shell and um, this one is actually cheaper than the other one. It comes at about uh, three pounds including shipping. And uh, this is, as the name says, this is the shell from a laptop power supply. There are three decorative stripes here on the top. Um, the surface is uh, ruffled and looks very nice. It's not smooth like in the previous box. And uh, it has a, a cutout here for a label if you need that. And then there are four feet uh, in ABS plastic. And uh, I really like this box. Uh, of course it's not meant for handheld stuff, but it looks pretty enough that you can use it for some product that is uh, commercial actually. And uh, if we take a look inside, we have the top here and the bottom piece here. And the mounting screws goes into these tabs here, that, that they tab into these uh, plastic uh, studs here as well. And uh, if we close it like this, there is a height difference, uh, or there is a gap between this standoff here and this standoff here. And that is just exactly high enough for a piece of PCB material. So it's actually quite a clever little box. And uh, as I said, it's much prettier than the previous one. And uh, you can buy these in uh, bulk actually online. You can buy 10 at a time or, or 20 or whatever and you get even better price. So I'm really, really happy about this box. Um, you can of course use it in this direction or in this direction and in both directions it looks pretty nice so uh, very happy about this box and uh, the, the wall thickness is also good this is a very very nice box and uh, because it's not a hobby box it's meant for uh, industrial use it's meant for people who make power supplies uh, the price is also very good so very happy with this box the next one is this one it's called the MHH66 ABS plastic box handheld enclosure and uh, they are quite expensive I must say they are about five pounds each but they are very nice shaped and they are good for remote controls and stuff like that it fits uh, fairly nicely in your hand um, it doesn't fit as nicely as I would have thought but uh, that is the shape um, the thing is basically the, the thing basically consists of two halves uh, plus a little uh, piece here for the end and um, there are four holes here on this side for PCB and the, these four are for the screws and of course they tap into these uh, studs up here so when you close it it, uh, it it fits together like this 
and uh, I'm not sure you can see inside uh, but there is no gap between these uh, mounting studs here for a PCB so your PCB has to have a shape like this and uh, go outside this uh, stud here and uh, back in here and uh, that will work of course but the problem is there are no mechanical drawings for this uh, plastic here from the supplier so uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get this PCB shape uh, spot on the first time I'm gonna do that particularly since this is curved up here but otherwise I think it's pretty good for a handheld uh, device which is uh, what I was gonna use it for and uh, indeed there's a cutout here on the front for a sticker this thing is curved a little bit in this direction here um, so it's not it's not flat this uh, cut out here so you have to take care of that when you uh, design your board or your project but otherwise um, it's a ruffled surface and it's really sturdy and um, yeah this is a really nice box although uh, fairly expensive but yeah good good little good little enclosure the next set of boxes are really really small I mean, you can see it compared to a finger like this they are they are just about five centimeter by two by one centimeter or something like that and um, they have a hole in each end for a cable going in and a cable going out so I think for light dimmers and stuff like that it may be pretty nice um, I must admit I don't know why I bought these because I really don't have any use for them uh, but I think I got 20 for practically free of charge so uh, they were really cheap and I thought well what the heck uh, but yeah maybe I can find a use for them I'm not too sure but uh, at least you can use it for a cable coming in here and a cable coming in from below and uh, then you can uh, do some uh, wiring uh, use it as a wiring box or junction box or something like that so uh, yeah um, they snap in with the uh, snaps as well so once you close it, it clicks in like this they're quite difficult to open again but again, um, if you have a use for them, I think they're pretty good. Finally, the last plastic box is this one here, and this is an instrument case. And it actually has a pair of legs, so you can tilt it up. And uh, the idea is pretty good. It's a very big size. It's 20 by 175 by 70. And um, you can also, of course, use this as a carry handle. And the problem I have with this one is... Um, is that the guy who shipped it to me um, bent the plastic handle here so it doesn't really fit properly anymore um, he kind of just bonged it in a bag and the, the, the leg or uh, the two arms here they've been bent outwards during shipping so it doesn't really lock uh, it doesn't really lock when I try to use it and that is really a, a great shame and the other drawback is that these uh, feet are not rubber feet they are made from ABS plastic so I think you may have to uh, swap these out uh, if you want to use that for your project um, but otherwise it has a ruffle uh, um, oops there's the handle it has a rough a ruffle surface which is uh, pretty nice uh, looks like a really professional box although not professional enough because the plastic is uh, very cheap uh, but you can see inside here there are metal inserts here for the for the screws for the for holding the box together which is good and then there are quite a lot of studs here for mounting the PCB so you can have different size PCB uh, inside so uh, yeah pretty awesome uh, the front and the back are smooth plastic and uh, they get scratched very easily but I think they should be used with a plastic foil uh, with your with your artistic drawing with your design on it so that is not really a problem so yeah uh, I cannot recommend this box for um, if you want to sell it because the plastic is just too cheap and it looks cheap uh, which of course it is but if you do some instrumentation at home or for your ham radio club or something like that it's a really really um, really decent box and uh, as you can see there are even some uh, grills here uh, yeah can you see that there are some grills here at the bottom piece um, for air ventilation so 
If the plastic had been a little bit better, I think this would be a very highly recommended enclosure. But um, yeah, it's a little bit cheap and because this thing is bent and I can't really, I have tried to straighten it out again, but it doesn't really succeed. So um, yeah, uh, well, that's the way that one goes, but otherwise, um, if you can straighten that out and uh, get some rubber feet, I think for your hobby use, this is a very, very nice enclosure. And uh, I bought this one very expensive, but now they're down to uh, seven pounds forty. So uh, that is really uh, quite a decent price for this. Oh yeah, sorry, I have a few more. I have a few more plastic cases uh, here and uh, I got those and unfortunately I don't know what uh, what they are called uh, on eBay but uh, on the sticker here it says SH-BI-338 or possibly uh, you should search for ZC1123 um, and this box is quite similar to the first box I showed you in that uh, this is a snap-in box um, the lid snaps in and then you have problems removing it again and it comes with four screw mounts here for uh, for PCB uh, the problem with this box is that they come like this first of all there's a sticker at the end here which is practically impossible to remove and you have all this uh, gooey gluey gooey gluey stuff uh, which is very difficult to remove so um, I don't know, put them in hot water with a, with a dishwashing liquid, uh, washing up liquid or something like that for overnight and maybe you're in luck, I don't know. Uh, the, other pro the other problem is that it's very difficult to open. If you try and uh, jam a screwdriver in there or something, you tend to uh, ruin the plastic at the edge around here. And that is really a pity. Um, so yeah, again. I don't know how you're gonna use that for a commercial product, but for home use I think they're they all right, but they're not something to write home about.